Well, first time on the couch here in McLean's Bookmakers, we have the one and only Mr. Tommy Bow, who has uh, what 165 Ulster caps, I think, or 135 and 67 Irish caps. Would that be correct, Tommy? I think you're not far off, Louis. Nice clever. to be here. It should have been catch, more. Yeah. Should have been more. That's should be more. Yes, yeah. exactly. But I want to talk to you Hopefully first of all about uh, Ulster, which obviously we want to get um, Ionex, uh after coming back. I suppose when many people thought we had no chance. Uh, particularly the way we fell apart at Saracens at home. Subsequently, we were beaten last week away to Saracens. Have we blown our chance now of the of the qualifiers? Um, I don't think we have. I think that um, Saracens are a, a top quality outfit, and I think that you've seen that over the past couple of years that they've got a very very strong setup there. They've very strong team. I think that the boys are, are disappointed with with the performance at the weekend. We hope to go over there. We hope to go over. We hope to to win every game that we play. But even you know a losing bonus point would have put us in a very strong position going into this last game. But you know it's it is kind of out of our hands, which is a difficult enough position to be in. But we know we've got Oyana at home. We need to hopefully get a bonus point win against them. It puts us in a stage in a position where we could get through to the ne- uh, the next stage. But we have um, I suppose we have to depend on a few fixtures going our way. So. It's all it's all there for the taking. I think that the lads are are very motivated about this weekend. Looking forward to getting home in front of the home uh, the home fans, and um, you know who knows what's going to happen. But you know, fingers crossed, things go our way and we get through to the knockout stages. If we miss out on that, would we look back and reflect maybe at the match away in France to Ajax whenever we had to come back from twenty two nil down or whatever, and you know, and, and win you know a late kick from Paddy Jackson that we didn't get the bonus point there. In other words, could it be an opportunity lost this season for Les Kiss? There, I, I, of course, I, you know, to come back from where we were, to come back from twenty three nil down was an incredible performance to get the win for Paddy to score that kick at the end. Um, it was an it was an unbelievable game of rugby to watch, but of course you know we went over there. All you now were pretty much out of the competition, and maybe that was a problem that we went over there thinking that we were going to have to get the bonus point win instead of thinking about getting the win first and foremost. Um, so unfortunately we we got off to a terrible start. You know to 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 be going in at half time twenty three nil. I'm sure most teams would have thought there's no chance away from home in France. Very difficult team to play against. Uh, so to get the win, to leave us still in the competition was 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 vitally important. But unfortunately, not getting that bonus point over there and not getting one in Saracens um, have left us with an uphill battle. But and, and unfortunately, I suppose things out of our control. You know, all that we can do this weekend is win, get uh, hopefully the bonus point win, and and just see how things go. So I mean. Listen, you can't rule us out. Absolutely not. I think that um, it's going to be a super game this Saturday. The boys are massively up for it. And, and hopefully we're in the knockout stages for when hopefully I can be back from injury and uh, maybe get a chance to play in knockout stages. So we'll see how we go. Well, I'm glad that the message then from Tommy Bow is that there's still hope, folks. There's still hope.